welcome back everybody to Poke Crows. I'm joined by Origami, my uh, younger brother Dean, and BPM who is uh, currently muted. So he'll probably jump in with some funny stuff to say. If you're wondering why we're hanging out on the Discord server today, it's because, well, all the images we have were previously leaked. Uh, the account that we follow uh, did decide to delete a lot of these images in order to save the leaker from some issues. Um, we don't know anything about that. We don't have that big of a rich, and I doubt Nintendo will ever watch our channel. So I think we're A-OK -okay to move forward. What do you say, guys? Let's just do it before anything bad happens. Finish the video. <laughs> Channel ban incoming in three, two, you're, one. <laughs> you're opening Pandora's box by doing this. It, well, it was your thing. idea. It was Comic Crow. <laughs> it was his idea. He wouldn't let it go and look at where we're at. So if it happens, it's let's just me. go. Okay. Let well, we're going to start off. The first image we have here is, um, as I understand, it's called Sinisty. And it's obviously the pre-evolution to uh, Poltegeist. What are your guys' thoughts on this little one? It's legit, you know, it's pretty simple. Not my cup of tea, no pun intended, but uh, you know, uh, uh, uh. I, I like the name. All right. No, I'm, it's cool. It's a cool design, you know, it's got a newer Pokemon look to it. Definitely not old school Pokemon. This is new school Pokemon and it fits it. It fits the role. Well, Dean is clearly somebody who's only played Gen 1. I love it. <laughs> it just reminds me of Beauty and the Beast, like Chip. No, it you does. Know? That's what I was thinking. Yes. Um, but yeah, it's it's just a pre-evolution. We've already seen Poltegeist. This is two-stage, so um, this is what you're going to get. Moving on, we have Galarian Darumaka and Galarian Darmanitan. Um, <laughs> it's nice that we're getting Galarian forms for Pokemon that aren't just uh, from Kanto. Uh, they're, they're giving us Galarian forms of Gen 5. I covered the Galarian Stun Fisk, and you can see that they <laughs> really like this Darmanitan. I don't know, yeah, I mean, I feel like it's a sun and moon kind of thing that should have been done, but hey, that's to each their own. I'm gonna, fans, you know? I'm gonna ask the question, does Gen 5 deserve alternative forms? Uh, yeah. Alright, well then that question's answered. <laughs> <laughs> Gen 5, okay, I'll, I'll say this in defense of the Gen 5 games, they had a lot of crappy ass designs for a lot of Pokemon, but they just had so many fucking Pokemon that... Like, Darmanitan's actually a pretty good one. All right, question. Do yes. you think this did justice to Darmanitan? Um, I love that it has a Russian hat. Yeah? Yeah, I fucking love it. Um, that said, I don't know, man. Because remember, like, the UK and the US, we got that relationship. Um, Gen 5 was based <laughs> in the US. So... <laughs> <laughs> that is, uh, that is moving on <laughs> like don't insert <laughs> politics into pokemon let's go moving I didn't. on i said we, we, we came Applin. from there Fuck. applin is oh, next. fine 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 applin is next and yes it isn't an, it's an apple with a worm inside of it <laughs> this is josh martin's favorite pokemon oh god <laughs> he's gonna this is oh my god it's horrible <laughs> eat an apple just, bitch <laughs> it just yeah that would be his like pokemon for sure that's his poke partner oh my god i can't i can't unsee it now you ruined it dean <laughs> no i'm sorry Who no, apples? oh ah uh, yep josh martin yeah was that josh martin <laughs> did he hop into the voice chat and, uh, why is he in this server <laughs> and um the next the but, next evolution is flapple though so the worm basically breaks out of the apple and uses the apple as wings <laughs> It's not, not like slightly terrifying. It's just like it's a parasite that took over the apple and is now using the the corpse of the apple to just like take over. That doesn't freak anybody else out. What no, I'm freaked I, out by I, the, I, 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 just, I was just gonna say I'm freaked out by the fact that the apple doesn't brown over time. Oh, that's what it is. It's yeah. Granny Smith. What were you gonna say, Dean? I hate um I hate Pokemon like this. I <laughs> don't like Pokemon that. <laughs> things that aren't pokemon in order to be that pokemon does that make sense yeah kind of like uh what is his name zaxion he carries around a butter knife to attack exactly like it just doesn't make any sense not every single one of these pokemon would have like the other object that would make it that pokemon i don't i hate i hate that it's a fair statement hence the what i don't know that, that what? No, That's I didn't. It's a first statement. Okay. 
Yeah, but Crow, what final grass, thoughts on This is a grass flower. dragon type. I think that the typing's pretty cool. I'm actually. Oh, it's a core type. I, it's I'm definitely. I'm with both of you. Type. It's it's not my favorite type of Pokemon, um, and I probably would not use it. I just think the typing's really cool. I can't stand Applin. I kind of like Flapple a little bit. Not <laughs> much, but a little bit. Well, moving on, we actually have the pre evolution to one we covered yesterday um, Sent to Scorch, and it's uh, Sizzlepeed is the pre-evolution guy. It's also oh. the mascot of Sizzlers. <laughs> Those still exist? Yeah. That's yeah. probably yeah, it's probably because that's their mascot. They're not around as much. But anyway, I don't know. Ooh. I'm just glad. <laughs> I'm glad that uh what is it? He has a cool evolution because this thing is like eh. He looks yeah. like a deflated chancleta, which is flip flop in Spanish. So <laughs> thank you for the Spanish lesson. You're very welcome. Well, okay, we got another pre-evolution for a Pokemon that we've all known for a long time, um, or at least we pretty damn sure. Uh, Choodle, the pre-evolution for Dreadnought. Squirtle's special cousin. Really? That's what you think? It's just like, ugly name, ugly Pokemon. I don't like things that have a very tiny body and a head that is larger than that body. No, for real. I mean, Choodle, he's got one stupid Spongebob buck tooth, and he's got a pointy head. Like, what's Oh my the god, point? he looks like a Spongebob character. He does. Patrick yeah. Star and Spongebob fused. Uh, yeah. <laughs> With Squidward. With oh, Squidward. Yeah, I was gonna be, I was gonna, I was waiting for we're, we're I like, and, Okay, you guys give your final thoughts on that one. I, I, I have already Boo. moved on to the next image. I hate it. <laughs> Boo, let's go. Zero out of ten. Perfect. All right. The next one is, this has been confirmed, uh, just based on where it is in the Pokedex, to be the Suedo Legendary of the region. Uh, so it is not uh, Morgrim and uh, Rimstar. Uh, Imp -imp. Yeah. This one is Dreepy. Um, what are your thoughts on this little guy? It's very, very small. You change the letters around, you spell Derpy. It's kind of <laughs> how he looks. I got nothing else to say. What do you got, Dean? <laughs> I don't have much to say about it. It's a it's a small Pokemon. I'm I'm it's, hopefully it becomes cooler. I well, we're gonna see its next evolution, and the evolution. Oh is no the, way! Yeah. <laughs> I don't get this evolution because basically, it's it's not. You know, I, I okay. You said you hated Pokemon that that are not that Pokemon. They they take over other things to be that thing. Mm -hmm. I hate Pokemon that when they evolve, another Pokemon just randomly shows up. I mean, kind of oh, like yeah. Diglett and Magneton. Diglett? Uh, yeah, no, no, Magneton, no, Magneton makes sense because they form. No, because where did the other Magnemites come from? From the Electric Company. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mantine, which just... It, 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 well, Mantine started off as a Mantine with Remoraid attached to it, but technically evolves now from a Mantike. Although, yeah. at that, that would make sense, because you have to have a Remorade in your party. Where do you get this thing? It just randomly shows up. And not only does it just randomly show up, it becomes the core of that Pokemon moving forward. <laughs> Dre Dreepy is basically just a missile to fire out at things. Yeah. Um, dude, I don't know. The only exception to that rule is Slowbro, okay? With the shelter. Well, Slowbro... I, even then! That's two Pokemon, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, method. combined. Yeah, of not if it's, Yeah, my bad. But still, I don't know. This thing is all over the place. Looking at it hurts my head. But I so. like it. I like it. I do... I really do like the way that the other dragon looks, the one that randomly shows up. It's just, yeah. I don't get where it came from. <laughs> really? Just looking at his face is like, can I get an extra side of uh, large fries? And that's what it sounds like to me, just by looking at his face. All right, well, now we, we got to move on. Dragapult. So this is the final stage. Um, I do, I really like this one, but you can see Dreepy is not, Dreepy is just missiles. This one's just got two Dreepies now. Yeah. <laughs> I like uh, it, but like, it makes no sense to me. I mean, to be honest, I, I like it, but I don't because I like it the fact that it looks so different because that's it's a really interesting looking thing, but it still looks kind of dorky. I just got to play with it. I got to like get it in the team, try it out to see definitively where I stand with this thing. Yeah, if this Pokemon didn't evolve from another Pokemon, I would ha I would feel better about it. It is a very cool design. I like Dragapult, but... It's 
it's like three Pokemon now. But Pretty it much. is but it but it is a really cool design. I do like it. Yeah. yeah design wise, I like it way more than other Suedo legendaries. Um that I I like a lot of people like Hydreigon. I'm not a huge fan of Hydreigon. I don't like the fact that Hydreigon's like hands is more faces. Exactly. Like, that's kind of the, but I like the landing strip thing that's on his chest. You see it? Yep. I, th I think that's like it's got good attention to detail. Mm -hmm. so no, it's, it's I can appreciate cool, that. It's a great design. It's just I really wish it wasn't a Pokemon that just randomly has other Pokemon showing up for its evolution. Agreed. Um, Stone Journer. Uh, oh God. <laughs> What? You see, it's like it's raising its hands in the air. It's flexing. It's got these right, giant yeah, yeah, like it just don't care. Hi. No, it's bad. It's bad. Bad <laughs> I, crow. I, I can't defend it. I'm sorry. It's it's pretty damn bad. It's as bad as the face it's making. Like, why? Why did you make me? <laughs> let's, let's, just, just, <laughs> let's just move on from this one. Uh, the next one is Indeedy. Um, I... You know, it like reminds it. me of... Uh, what is it? Esper. Esper and Meowstic. It reminds me of that, like... It's perfect, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I, but I don't have any opinion on it other than that. It's just a... I don't know, I'm going to guess it's a psychic type or a dark type. Probably both. Oh, that'd, be, that'd be more interesting. Yeah. I do like the design of this Pokemon. It's cute. Yeah, it is. It's just... Uh, I wish I knew more about it because I think it evolves. But that's all I got here. Let's uh, go on to the next one. Because we had the pre-evolution for Alcremie. Um, sure. It does not look like Alcremie at all, but okay. It looks like a Digimon, like I've been saying. It, no, it doesn't just look like a Digimon. It looks like a baby Digimon. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, like Betamon or Bodamon or whatever. <laughs> Alright, next one. I love this. It's a uh, Galarian Corsola. It's a ghost type because it died from pollution and it got all bleached white on his skin because of all that pollution. And that's why it's sad. So. I definitely, I like the attention to details of the lore that they made with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, so. ble bleach, uh, <laughs> uh, bleach coral is a, an actual thing caused by industrial uh, pollution, which is, makes sense because that's what the Gala region is based on the UK and that's what they have. <laughs> no, but... They killed everybody's all looking. Was. Everybody's looking at the like the bad part of pollution, but pollution gave us this really cool Pokemon. Not yeah. only that, it actually it, and AG, um, you should be pro pollution now because you were all about how Johto needed love. Not only did we get Galarian Corsola, which is a ghost type, infinitely better than Water Ghost or Water Rock, we also have an evolution, Cursula. No, I really like Cursula. I think that's really <laughs> legit. You know, I think that's legit. That is terrifying. Yeah, but it looks like Coral Reef now. Yeah. And I, I mean, the fact that they made it a ghost type because it died of pollution is... <laughs> well, there's everything about it I like. I like that it's an evolution. I like the color scheme. I like the name. I like the design. So that's where I'm at with that. No, it is very cool. The next yeah. one, this is uh, Qfant. We kind of did a partial reveal for it, but now we have the whole body, we have the whole name, we even have its evolution, which we're going to see here in a second. Um, I, it's a cute Pokemon. I would guess it's going to be a rock type. Yeah, presumably so. I don't know. It's got nothing on Dawn Fan. I'm no. ready to go. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I agree. But I do like its evolution a lot. Uh, the Jade Elephant thing. Uh, Copper Jaw. I guess Copper Jade Elephant. But, well, is it is it Raja one of the deities or something for um, India? Perhaps. All right, well, look, forget I said that. Let's. I just derailed it. Go ahead. You totally did. I, I I had no clue about Indian uh, mythology, culture, whatever. Um, I still think it's got nothing on Don Fan. The design is better. Uh, it looks specifically like more rockish. So, probably rock and ground. You think? Um, uh, you think? I don't know. I'm I'm looking at that trunk. It looks like it would do earthquake with that thing. Yeah, but the thing is, it's a uh, copper, so maybe it's like a part steel type. Oh, yeah, that's better because it looks like the thing for construction to dig up. You know what I mean? That's so, true. It's probably steel. What um, do you think, Dean? Yeah. I have no clue. I do, All right, moving on. <laughs> yeah, I, I like I do like the look of it. Um, but I've I've no clue what typing it's gonna be. Um. 
I think I think it'd be fun to use though, if it was just yeah. a pure rock type. And uh, it could be steel because look at his tusks. Tusks. True, You're probably right. Man. I mean, if okay, I would hate if it was a rock steel type though, because rock steel is just not a good type. Oh, fighting is gonna mess that thing up. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, wait, oh, speaking oh. of fighting, we should kind of mention this because we talked about it yesterday when we mentioned Galarian Farfetched. Um, mm -hmm. Galarian Farfetched, as I understand, is now confirmed to be a fighting type. So I don't know if the stats have changed, but it's fighting. It's not a uh, flying normal. I'm good with that. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh God, this is. Oh, I hate the next one. <laughs> All right, okay, go ahead. Well, the next one we got to reveal together. Um, we have Galarian Mr. Mime, which I think is a definite improvement on regular Mr. Mime. 100%. Are you out of your mind? Are you yeah. out of your mind? <laughs> I, I like this over I like this over regular Mr. Mime. He looks like a wannabe Jack Frost. Like he just broke out the makeup oh. and he's like, guys. He look. looks better than Mr. Mime. <laughs> he looks yeah. like Jack Frost. <laughs> I I is it gonna be psychic and ice type is what I'm wondering. I don't know, because let's look into the next thing. Yes. It's Mr. Mime because Mr. Rhyme. Yeah, that doesn't look like an ice type. No, it doesn't. It it looks like it shouldn't be allowed near playgrounds. It looks like it shouldn't have ever been made. Oh my god, everything about it is just like nightmare fuel. Look at the nose on his on yeah, like it, where it's it's, it's got, inappropriate. It's, it has a right. face on its belly. It's inappropriate. <laughs> it's got the look at the eyes, you know. And I like, swear, if this thing's lore is that it lures little children away from playgrounds, I'm gonna call fucking the cops. Dude, oh yeah, on Nintendo. <laughs> yeah. Like, if anyone you got a designer there that's got some weird shit going on in his head, you, you gotta investigate that guy. God, that's atrocious. If anyone doesn't have anything else to say about it, I really want to talk about the next one. I want to keep looking at it, so you have to look at it. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> don't even ask me to, like, make his eyes swirl. Well, you still... <laughs> Alright, moving on. I still Dude. think that it's better than regular Mr. Mind. You're never gonna change F my mind on that. Final thoughts on any of this, Dean. <laughs> I hate it. I hate everything about it. Agreed. Let's go. Fine, because this one is definitely not only a palate cleanser, but I fucking love it. No, so, it's incredible. Yeah. Talk okay, so we revealed this baby one yesterday, which is called Toxel, and this is its evolution. I man. It's incredible. Mm. Like I even like the the pre-evolution name Toxel. I thought that was legit. Yeah. Dude, this is a 10 out of 10 for me. Uh maybe it evolves further someone said that it looked like these statues um that have been revealed in a couple of other screenshots i don't know for certain but i mean if this is all we're getting if this is its final stage it doesn't evolve any further i'm fine with that this thing looks metal i love it 10 out of 10 12 out of 10 100 out of 10 you almost hope that it doesn't evolve further because i don't want them to ruin it exactly yeah. no yeah i was like it's hard to improve on this i i really enjoy this one this is like definitely one of the ones i was like this thing is gonna be cool yeah so um okay the next one i i okay this i i think it's a fun pokemon i love the name for it phalanx and you can see i would imagine it's a bug type maybe bug steel but it's literally a spartan phalanx you can see all the shields lined up on the sides and you can see the the little spear points and you can see the uh heads of the spartans <laughs> it looks like it looks like it looks like a butt it looks it looks very inappropriate yes. <laughs> it looks like a butt it does <laughs> it looks like other things too i want to see what whatever. it evolves into because i i really probably more butts no, it's gonna be a Spartan. It's gonna I, be a Spartan. I want it to be like a Spartan fighting bug thing, and I just want it to be super cool. It's gonna be like a Spartan. It's gonna have lots of spikes because this one looks defensive. So when it evolves, it probably be more like attack like. So. Oh, oh true. Um, or it just uh, has a bigger shield. One other small reveal that is kind of, I guess, not too important because this never really happens. The Pikachu clone definitely does not evolve. Someone said it would. Um, I remember seeing a couple. Uh, uh, videos talking about it um, but that is confirmed fake here more pico does not yay okay now for the big one fossil fusing pokemon uh <laughs> this is very weird these pokemon do not evolve 
Uh, their names are Dracozolt, Arcozolt, Dracovish, Arctovish. Uh, basically, what you have are two different uh, tops for the Pokemon, one being an electric type, one being a water type, and two different bottoms, one being a dragon type, one being an ice type. You can combine the uh, electric top with the uh, dragon bottom, or with the ice bottom, or the water top with the dragon bottom, or with the uh, ice bottom, basically giving us four different Pokemon, which is a very 100% super cool concept. I just think that they totally busted up on the execution. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't like the designs. The first one's okay. Um, this one would be Arctovish, the water and ice type, because it looks kind of like it's the same Pokemon, right? I don't like it, yeah. but it looks okay. Then you get this monstrosity, <laughs> Dracovish. So they took the dragon legs, and instead of putting this thing on the front, they shoved the head onto the tail. I have no clue what the hell they were thinking. Um, the thing is, these are all good typings, right? Except for maybe water ice. You know, water dragon is a good yeah. typing. I just would never use this fucking thing. I don't care. This could be like OU staple, and I would never freaking touch it in my game. It's definitely a shame because that's something new and interesting and innovative, and like none of this like m appeals to me whatsoever. Like these designs are ugly. The names are dumb. Yeah. But um. So the electric dragon too. Like electric dragon, such cool typing. We've never had electric ice, and I will never use these. I will never no, yeah. use them. It's it's a shame, but I appreciate the effort, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, essentially it's it's very cool for a concept, right? It, it really is. But this is just such a bungled execution. I really hate it. Um, let's, let's move on to the legendaries, um, because we have some important news there. First was Zacian. Zacian, and we can kind of see a little bit of the description. Um, the hero of many battles, known as a legendary hero, this Pokemon something something, absorbs metal particles transforming blank blank into a weapon it uses to battle. So this looks like a non-final form of Zacian, which is just a fairy typing. You can see it doesn't have the armor it's supposed to have, and it doesn't have the, sh uh, the uh, sword or the sheath for the sword. It, so, do you suspect that whenever it gets its sword, it kind of does like a form change? Do you think it will add like a steel with fairy type? That's what I'm wondering, because that when I'm talking about sheath, I, I, there's like an image, I guess, where it like puts it into its like ribbon or something. But oh. it, yeah, I, I'm trying to remember it. I don't have it here, so I do apologize. Look, um, I think I swear I thought he just carried around the knife. He does, uh, but there's like a plushie or something. I don't know where it kind of like goes into the. I'm not important, but I didn't think that it was a, a form that it took on when it battled, but that kind of makes sense now. Um, yeah. I guess the trailer did show that off because he pulled the sword out. You know, he didn't just constantly have it, I think. Yeah, when he went I could to, be wrong. When he charges at a. Um, Zama Zamazanta? Zamazanta. Uh, yeah, yeah. I actually like the name for the, uh, the shield legendary a little bit better, but Zacian's. The thing is, yeah. I think it's kind of weird for them to constantly be form changing whenever they enter into battle. Um, so there's got to be some sort of mechanic there that we don't see, right? Could be. It could be that you have to use like a move, kind of like a say feather dance, to power up, and then it'll unleash something. Could be. Oh, I don't know. No, I just no, you're thinking like Meloetta when it uses Relic Song, uh, Gen Five Legendary or Mythical. Um, yeah. It uses Relic Song and it goes from being psychic type, uh, psychic normal, to being normal fighting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I can see that. I actually like the fact that it's a fairy type. I think that's really cool. Yeah, I mean, because for, for a legendary typing, I think fairy is pretty good and comparable to the uh, to the psychic and the dragon types we're always getting. Well, fairies kind of look lame until now. Like, I think they're getting, like, yeah. impotent. And... Oh, yeah. The Grimmsnarl is... That dude's a fucking beefcake for a fairy type. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Dean, any thoughts? No, it's uh, it's definitely really cool. It's like the first of its kind as far as fairy types go. Yeah, you know. Yeah, really, really. 
sorry go ahead no just a really really cool design especially for a fairy and hopefully uh they start doing more like out of the like box types of designs for fairies and you know right. other other pokemon that don't tend to get good designs yeah, yeah totally. I, I agree because he's better than xerneas and i kind of like him better without the sword but <laughs> whatever oh totally <laughs> this i as far as a legendary uh fairy types go i definitely prefer these to xerneas absolutely agreed that being said we've the got big... the, yeah and uh this one's crazy this is eternatus <laughs> eternatus i just like saying eternatus because i know that's saying it wrong and i know that anybody listening to it there's eternatus that just makes their ears like just go rabid um because yep. <laughs> i'm evil anyways eternatus got two forms uh we have this cosmic bone dragon of evilness i don't even know what to call it and then we have the claw of doom from uh toy story yeah oh <laughs> um, you want me to go into it or you want to get your piece out bro you go <laughs> what is this based off of does anybody know the as in the lore or this mm -hmm. pokemon generally i'm just just either one evil space chicken of death the lore i'm not too sure but i think it's still based on norse because I think the two wolves are based on Odin's wolves. Yeah. And yeah. So this could be Norse. I think he has a third form because in the prior league video you and I did, Crow, it was humanoid. And look at that that symbol. You know what I mean? So so every, so this is why I wanted to use this image here. This yeah. everybody's been saying for the longest time through the leaks we've had. This image on the mountain is Eternatus. And this form here does not match any of the legendary uh pokemon that we know because we know all the legendaries now um mm -hmm. we don't know of the mythicals it could be a mythical but i just don't believe that so the no idea, it's it's got to go be eternatus right it is because look at the look at the head and look yeah. at eternus's head as the dragon it's fingers you know what i mean mm -hmm. no, so no, no, it, I, it, it's gotta go be i i i'm i'm with you 100 there now as far as the lore for it there is some uh some stuff we have from the leaks in which they describe Eternatus in many different ways. Essentially, Eternatus is just evil. Um, mm -hmm. They say Eternatus is responsible for the um, Gigantamax uh, phenomenon that's going on in the Galar region. There is so much... Ever since Eternatus got revealed in the uh, Affleck leak, there have been so many uh, leaks, you know, quote-unquote, that we really have no clue. Yeah. I was going to bring that up too. I think he's the main cause of the Gigantamax stuff. Because even look at the, the shroud in the claw form. Mm -hmm. um, you notice the Gigantamax have that like that same color of like aura floating around a specific area. Yeah, you see it actually in both forms. That reddish uh, cloud thing. That, that yeah. glow for it. But specifically in the claw form, it looks like it's forming a cloud uh, yeah. within it. I I would imagine it's true, but it's just so hard to say. Along with the crop sign, look at it. It's Eternatus, and then it's got that cloud in the same shape as they develop um, on the Gigantamax. Th this one's got me with like way more questions than I have answers. So at first you're like, well, I mean, once Eternatus gets revealed, we'll finally know what Eternatus is. I've still got no fucking clue what's going on here. <laughs> Everything about it I love. I love it as like the third big bad legendary or enemy of the region. Uh, I like the look. It looks like a Digimon. I like the look. I like the name. Sounds like a Marvel villain. I love everything yeah. about it. Color scheme. So, there there's my piece. Yeah. Well, yeah. Since, since, since the turn is, is the last one we're revealing here, the one thing I will say that's very nice about this, remember um, how many games we've had where you, the third legendary is saved for the third game, right? Yeah. And we saw that basically get really ruined with X and Y, in which they didn't bother with the third game, so the third legendary, being Zygarde, was really just shafted hardcore. Uh, they tried to shove its final form into, you know, Sun and Moon, but it was really just a waste of a Pokemon. It's a waste of potential. Big time. Now this thing here, though, we have two forms for it in the main series game, I have no clue if we're getting third third titles. I'm not trying to suggest that at all. I just mean that we actually have what appears to be 
a, an actual story that's kind of complete here with this Pokemon. The fact that they're giving it two forms in these games, I would say Eternatus has a major role to play, and they aren't just going to be, you know, shoving this in at the very end with no explanation like they did with Zygarde, like they did with, uh, what's his face, Necrozma in Sun and Moon, the base games. I, I, that's all good for me. I, I love that. No, uh, I agree. Um, the fact that he even has that little crop sign is pretty cool, making him feel more legendary than mm -hmm. others. Um, and just a little tip, if anyone wants to see Zygarde actually like mean a difference or anything like that, uh, just watch X, Y, and Z anime, because he's a focus on that. But other than that, I think that's everything, right? Yes, now we do have a couple of leaks. This is just in regards to the gameplay. Um, the leaks we have, right? There's nothing else, just me catching a crappy in here. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but the leaks that we have are that the game will end. We will have a post game. Post game episode is roughly going to be about two hours. Um, that, I would say, sounds fine. It reminds me of the Delta episode. The Delta episode was not very long. The Delta episode's pure length of time was actually just traveling from one location to the next location. And even then, 30 minutes to an hour to complete it, it's very quick. Um, this, if it's a full two hours of just like a bonus episode, I'm fine with that. I wish we got more of that. I, I wish it was longer than just two hours. I really think Pokemon needs to do something about their post game. But uh, what are you guys' thoughts? Do you think that's nice that we have maybe like a Delta episode kind of thing in the game? Or do you, do you think they should do more? I really appreciate the post game stuff. Um, it just gives you more bang for your buck, especially because they're charging $60 on this game. Um, so it just offers better replay value. And I hope it doesn't disappoint, first of all. And then second of all, my favorite go-to for post game stuff is still uh, gold and silver. You go back to Kano. And I know everyone says that sucks or it'll never happen again. It's probably right, but I would appreciate it if they did something like that. Oh, 100%. <laughs> um, instead of focusing heavily on post-game, I think, um, I'm, and I don't know how heavily they uh, focused on post-game, but I think that they should have maybe included all of the Pokemon into the game. Oh my yeah, gosh, yeah. not this national deck. Ah, oh, god. <laughs> well, it's not... Hashtag it's... bring back the national deck. I hate the bitch on the shield. Chance, plug your giveaway and let's wrap up. Yes, okay, everybody, please share the video on social media. Tag myself, at CC on Twitter, or tag Origami on Facebook. It will be in the description. And enter in for a chance to win a Score Bunny plushie. We've already given away the uh, first uh, uh, plushie of Sobble to our very special uh, winner, at Lucario underscore designs. And guess what? Today it's his birthday. So everybody, please wish him a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Lucario. Congratulations, by the way, too. And you're also my favorite Pokemon, just saying. Yes, it, it, Aura loves Lucario. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, and I guess he now loves you, Lucario. So happy birthday, buddy. Um, Dean, come on, man. What? Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Sable is uh, going to be on the way to you. And if you would like to win the uh, Score Bunny plushie, again, the winner is going to be announced uh, next uh, Sunday, November the 10th. And after that, we'll give away my favorite buddy, which will be Grookey. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to another video. Uh, please stay tuned. We'll try to cover the spoilers as best we can. And uh, next time we'll be very smart and make sure we save the images because uh, the last time these all got leaked, they all got deleted really quick. So. We won't be making that mistake again.